Hey family, I wanted to do this quick video because I was just driving and something came to mind. Something came to mind about the power of the words that we use, right? You know, um, I've mentioned in my first video about manifesting things that we want through our mental and through the things that we say and the things that we think. So this video, I wanted to discuss on how important it is for us to be careful with the things that we speak. Solely because, um, I don't know, I was just driving and I, um, the word I am came to mind. And I was just thinking, man, the Lord, his name is I am. So what we put behind those words is very powerful, not only because it's, we're speaking on him, but we have him inside of us, which gives us the power and authority to speak things and to manifest it. So um, if you read the Bible, if you believe in the Bible or whatever, you the Bible talks about how um, not to use the Lord thy God name in vain. So his name is I am. So just, just picture, okay, you saying I am and the things that you put behind it, it's, it's actually saying who he is and what we can have. So, um, I am can either bless you or curse you. And I say that because if you say I am wealthy, you are wealthy. I mean, you're, you're stating what it is that God is. Um, he's all things good. He, uh, he's all things positive. So I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am whole. I am um, amazing. I am brilliant. But if you say I am uh, tired, I am sick. Um, God isn't sick. He isn't tired. So you're actually not only using his name in vain, but you're cursing yourself on top of that. So let's just try to be mindful of the words that we say because we do have power in everything that we say, but also there's consequences in things that we say because those things that we say are not only attached to who we are and what we have in us, but who God is. So yeah, I just thought that was really interesting how that came to mind and um, that's all that I have for today. Thanks. Peace.